All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope it all well. Sorry, it's been a few weeks, but uh, I've been a bit busy of late. Work, family stuff, and also the weather, it hasn't been too clever. And uh, I've just not been able to get out fishing. Window of opportunity today, day off work. I'm on what you call a flexi day. Now, where I work, we don't get paid overtime, but we do get flexi time, or time in lieu, if you like. And uh, I had a few hours on the clock, and I thought, why not? The weather, well, at the moment, it's lovely, but uh, they are forecast a bit of rain for later on, just in case I've kept it nice and local. High water, it's in around four hours time, only a small tide today, but it's just nice to be out fishing again. Can you guess where I am? Enjoy the video. Right, there we are. That's the rod set up. Uh, on the one, I've got a 3 hook flapper rig with size 1 hooks. On the other, a 3 0 Paternoster panel. Uh, a variety of baits today. Got some nice fresh ragworm. I also raided my freezer in the house. Got some squid, mackerel, couple of sand eels, couple of prawns. We'll try the lot. It's absolutely stunning. This is pure therapy. And uh, talk about a mind detox. Doesn't get much better. At the moment, we've got a gentle wind. Not a ripple on the water. Probably not a good thing, but I'm not going to complain. But uh, yeah, it's an amazing spot, this. I've only ever made one video here before. If you're wondering where I am, I'm on the mouth of the River Esk, just where it joins the Severn Estuary. I did a video a couple of weeks back, or a few weeks back, on the other side. That's the first time I filmed over there. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And I hope you are too. First cast, baits are out there. The three hook flabber rig is on the right down rod. At the moment, bottom hook is straight ragworm, middle hook is ragworm tipped off with squid, top hook is ragworm tipped off with mackerel. As for the 3 0 Paternoster panel on the left down rod, I've got a nice big chunky squid and mackerel cocktail. Early days yet, plenty of time. The water is pushing up lovely now. It's very deep in the middle, the channel. Hence why you get some huge ships coming up and down. But then all of a sudden, it flattens off. So in front of me, the water is fairly shallow. And that's why the tide races in. But yeah, over the years, I've had some cracking fish off this mark. If there was ever a classic bass spot, this is it. Potential species today, silver eel, flounder, conger eel, bass, thornback ray, dover sole. Anything is possible. We're around, ooh, an hour and three quarters, two hours off high tide. So far, really quiet. The cheapy old boat rod is now in action. It's about 20 yards to my left. I put a bell on the end. And uh, at the moment, on there, I've got a big bunch of ragworm. Nice and close, 
like I said earlier, for 15 yards out. But yes, at the moment, not a lot of action. Hopefully, things will improve soon. Very often, here, it can all kick off on the ebb. There's always hope. the report I'm afraid. Three rods out there, not one single bite. We're around 30 minutes off high water now. That's how it goes. As most of you will be aware, the channel recently passed the 5,000 subscriber milestone and uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, massive thank you. I appreciate the continued support. I have no idea how I got there, mind. I don't make enough videos. <laughs> but uh, we did, we did. When I first started the channel, I used to get carried away with the stats and the numbers, etc. but not anymore. I'm far more relaxed about it. I came to the realization a few months back that um, this is never gonna be a form of income for me. At the start, I think like a lot of people, maybe I got a bit carried away and thought, hello, it could be, but uh, no, nah, that's not going to happen. So uh, the filming now has become more of a hobby, if you like. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, the big YouTubers, they, they um, that's how they, how they make their living, but, you know, they've been going for years and years and... Uh, you know, they're banging out videos left, right and centre. I can't do that. I haven't got the time. But uh, I'll keep plugging away. I'll do what I can when I can. And hopefully plenty more to come. But yeah, this, uh, this is never going to be my job. <laughs> and in a way, guys, in a way, I'm quite glad about that. It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. You know, having to rely on weather, tides, fish. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a lot more relaxed about it. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought we'd have had a fish by now. Well, at least a bite or two. Usually, like I said earlier, usually get something here always get bites in saying that the fishing everywhere has gone a bit quiet at the moment so uh, maybe it's not me after all right, is that uh, is that on Here we are guys, Ooh. that's a lovely little schoolie, not massive, about a pound and a half, I thought there was something on there, let's get him unhooked, oh nicely hooked in the lip, got so close in, just goes to show, Ooh, oh, all right son, I tell you what guys, I'll pop the rod down and I'll show you properly, what a beautiful fish, we're off the mark, yes. Oh, all right, son. There we are, guys, oops. He took a big bunch of ragworm on the uh, 3 pack and Oster panel. But uh, he's not very big. He's only about 
Oh, a pound and a half, if that. But, uh, oh, lively old thing, lively old thing. Got his door set up for us as well. Love bass. Such a pretty fish. I don't care how big or small they are. Always a great sight. Let's pop him back straight away. He's gone. Fantastic. Oh, lovely. I can't believe it. Once again, the cheapy old boat rod, the old faithful, has rescued us. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now that I popped him back, guys, I got time to explain. So, like I said, I thought I heard the bell go, um, but the wind was picking up, and I thought, oh, maybe the wind is making the bell ring. So I focused on changing the bait on the two main rods, recasting, etc. So they were sorted, and then, I don't know, five, seven minutes later, the bell went again, struck into it, and of course, there was the bass. So, he must have been on there for a while. And um, if you notice, when I brought him in, now usually bass are kicking and splashing, and they're very, very active. There wasn't much life in that one, and I was a bit concerned. But when he put his dorsal fin up for us, I knew he was all right. And uh, as you saw, he took about, what, well, a minute to go. Um, held him in the water, like I always do and uh, I could feel him getting stronger and stronger and uh, off he shot, but uh, yeah, super chef with that. Oh, you won't believe this. Bass number two, otherwise known as a goldfish. Look at that, he's full of life, he's so strong. He's probably about three inches long. Great deal of sight. He took the ragworm on the bottom hook of the flapper rig. Oh, just wanna get him unhooked very, very gently. There we go, look at that. Both bass, I say both bass, one bass and a goldfish, have been nicely hooked. <laughs> Let me show you properly. What a cutie. Oh. Whoop. What a stunning creature. And these small ones, they're always full of life. A 
let's get him back in. <laughs> oh. He shot off like a rocket. Left hand rod guys, left hand rod, cracking bites. Oh, go on son. Move the cameras, move the camera back. Let's take a look. Oh God, the bell's going out down there. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, that's a, uh, that's a lump. <sighs> Gotta get him up over these rocks. The water is very, very shallow. Come on, my son. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, just come off. <laughs> Just come off guys, you saw that, there's a fish on there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, conga, 100%. Sorry guys, I thought the camera stopped recording then. That's why it looked all weird. Yeah, conga, look at that, it's all tangled, look. Oh, that was a nice one. As that one was going, um, the bell was going on the cheapy old boat rod. <laughs> right, I gotta get this entangled. In fact, it might be easier to put a new rig on because that is messedup.com. <laughs> Got a bite on this one, guys. Right, is that recording? I can't see because the sun. It's all kicking off. Yes! Winning guys again. Oh, that's a lump. Oh, it's going nuts. Oh. Come on, son. I'm just going to walk down and grab him a sec, guys. I hope it doesn't come off. Ah, we got him. Ah, nice Kong at about five pound. I'll get him unhooked and uh, I'll show you properly, properly. It's going absolutely nuts. Bites on all three rods. I could do with a second pair of hands. <laughs> yeah, initially guys, I thought he was around five pound, but he's a bit shy of that. He's more like, oh, I don't know, four and a half. Strong old thing. All right, son, I'm gonna pop you in now. I'm gonna pop you back. There he is. I love the old conga. Yeah, that one I lost about two minutes ago, trust me, was a lot bigger than this. I'm not just saying that. It come off, I don't know, 10 yards out. Anyway, let's get this, this chap back in. 
ebbing back now quite quickly as it always does here got a little bit of a rip so i am casting those weights to my right oh i can have a rest now it's all calmed down we'll have a recap guys because um it was so frantic i can't even remember what i said so left arm rod cracking bite which i think i've got on camera uh good conga lost it close in as i was winding that conga in the bell on the cheap little boat rod was going like the clappers but i couldn't do anything about it anyway that conga come off so i was sorting that rig out the rebate in the right arm rod started uh, bouncing away almost bounced off the stand classic conga bites uh got him in uh give you a quick show and then of course we did check the the boat rod but there was nothing on there but uh talk about a frantic 20 25 minutes always the way here always the way as soon as that ebb kicks in over high water into the ebb i was starting to think it wasn't going to happen but um just goes to show you know if you stick it out persevere and, and when you film in it makes such a difference you know to you it gives you a lift it gives you a bit of confidence because um i've said before it's hard to know what to talk about when you're not getting no bites um i'm not a natural talker so uh you know i have to think about what i'm gonna say but yeah oh we've we've had three fish missed a couple but <laughs> my videos in every video there's always a miss fish or usually two miss fish it's just the way it is <laughs> oh i don't know i reckon i've got now another 45 minutes of fishing left so um i'll probably put some big baits out there whack it as far as i can i'm gonna keep the the cheapy old boat rod close in in amongst the weed because uh up to now that's where we've been get, getting all the action earlier on i was giving that a bit of a whack but um nothing all close in really close in there's a knock guys there's a knock Only a small one, very, very finicky. There he goes, see? I wonder if that's a flatty. Ooh, go on, son. That could be a flounder. Gotta be patient with the old flounder, you see? Yep. There we go. Let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. Here we are, fish number four, a nice little silver eel. Not a very big one, but uh, always good to see. Becoming quite rare nowadays. Ah, there he is. Only a babber, but very, very welcome. I got him in a wet cloth here. Slippery old things. Oh, see if I can hold him properly. Now, I know these can be a nuisance, they can tangle your rigs and make a right old mess. But without them, we're in big trouble. They're a really important part of the ecosystem. And uh, numbers now, like I just said, they're uh, in decline, to say the least. Now, when I was a kid, you come here or up by Newport bus station, you know, I grew up there with dad, 
we get 20, 20 a session. You know, flounders, loads and loads of silver eels, or green eels, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I don't catch many of these nowadays, and that's quite sad. Let's pop him back in. And away he goes. Oh, four fish. I'm happy with that. Right, that is me done, guys. It's been a great day once again, and I'm pleased to say I've made the most of my day off work. Bit of a slow start, wasn't it? Didn't have a bite for two, two and a half hours, and then all of a sudden, over high water, into the ebb, it just went mad. And uh, at one point, I had a bite on all three rods. <laughs> Hence, the obligatory miss fish once again. You've got to laugh, you've got to laugh. It's all good fun. But uh, yeah, so uh, we had two bass, a little baby and a schoolie. Uh, we had that conger. I lost that bigger conger just before. And of course, right at the end, we caught that small silver reel. And what a great sight that was. And uh, I just wanna say guys that I film all of my videos in HD. So moving forward, I think you'd be better off watching them through your TV. So if you've got a smart TV, watch them through YouTube, you know, full screen, full picture, change your settings to HD, put your feet up, chill out, and hopefully the videos will relax you, especially if you've had a stressful week. As always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves, take care. All the best.